ultimate parent, our friend, dear Jesus, thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us. Let my word, words of my mouth and also meditation of all our hearts be acceptable unto your sight, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear Church, I praise God for this opportunity, first of all. And also I would like to take a moment to thank Pastor Boyes and all the past committee for giving me and encouraging me to grow along with you in sharing and listening to the word of God in this sanctuary. Today, I wish to do a character study. We all know the person very well. Before going to the There is a question to answer today. I want the uh, answer to be answered before the PowerPoint is ready. I would like to ask a, a, a question to you. What shall we do if we have a crisis, if we have a problem? Especially I want to listen from the youth. What do you do? What do you do if you have, if you have a problem in life? What do you do? I can hear from back also. Yes. Pray. You will pray, Pastor. Yes. Sarah. From there also. Patricia. What will you do? We have a sudden problem. We are into a crisis. And what will you do? He said, pray. Yes. We will pray. Definitely. Yes, sir. Yes, so we are. Thank you. We will remember God. Definitely. That is the first option for us. Yes. Any, any answers from Bernalus also? Yes, please. Yeah, we don't lose our faith. We, don't, faith. we don't lose the faith. We will not lose the faith. Yes. We will keep the faith stand. Yes. And last, last option. Yes. Just a burden. We will try to find a solution. We will find. We will try to find a solution. Okay. Yes. Let me put this. Uh, like this. If you have every crisis is an dash. What will be your answer? Yes, yes, we all know it, we all know it. Yes, I want you to do that. But many of them, can you see the opportunity? There is also there. Can you see that? I want you to be in the light shape so that many a time we know this quote also, but many a time we will not. Uh, even the Christians, yes, we will pray and we will not lose our faith. Definitely, uh, it's an opportunity for everything if, as a believer. Today, the scripture portion which has been read to us, Romans 8 28 is a very familiar verse. Paul says to Romans, the church at Roma, he says that everything will work for good. Those who uh, love God, those who are in, in his uh, mind. Today, my dear friends, since last uh, two to three weeks, we are meditating upon Old Testament, especially the life of Israelites. Pastor Boyes was leading us into a meaningful and wonderful thought provoking sermons leading the Israelites onto the wilderness and also how to face the Jericho, how to overcome the Jericho. Today I would like to focus on a particular character from that particular uh, stage of life. We all have uh, meditated upon the lessons from the uh, life of Israelites. I told who was the first person to enter into Egypt? Who was the first person? Who was the first person who went to Egypt? Yes. Joseph was the first person. Today I want you to uh, look into the life of Joseph in a bit different manner. Yes, he is none other than Joseph. He was the first to enter into Egypt. Uh, today there are six things he has faced according to my study and uh, my meditation, uh, there are six things he was into, he was forced into a kind of crisis in his life. And uh, if you think and if we recollect his life, every crisis was an opportunity for him. He tried to learn something, he tried to get out of a, a beautiful uh, life out of every crisis. That's what we see from the life of Joseph today. First of all, uh, many a time 
we want to run away from the problem. हर बार हम प्रार्थना करते हैं, Lord, nothing should come uh, against us. Nothing should happen to any one of us. And all, all the situations to uh, all the situations should go according to our plan, according to our wish. But uh, sometimes to overcome our crisis and all, the shorter we will find the shortest route. We want to have short uh, shortcuts. The shortest route, my dear friends, let me tell you, is always not the best route because it may can bypass some of the precious lessons in life. It will bypass some of the precious lessons in life if you choose the shortest route. I want you to turn your Bibles who all have brought today or else you can see in your uh, mobiles also. Chapter 37 of Genesis where the story of Joseph starts from uh, age of 70. You have his life story started starting from 17 years. Is any there? Is one anyone here having 17 years? 17 years old? Yes, Shara is there. If anyone is there, yes, one more. Good. So Joseph was your age. We are studying now about his life from 17th age, 17th year. We can see, we all know he's very uh, dear to his father, Jacob, who had a vast of it, vast experience with the Lord. He was a cheater and became a chosen one. And he goes away from his parents and comes back with a lot of blessings. And he depends upon God until you bless me or not leave. And with his uh, family, he was the dearest of all, both of his 11 children or 12 children maybe. Uh, Joseph was the, more, the most loved one, you can see. And also not only that, you can see uh, Joseph was a good dreamer. And it can also interpret the dreams. Uh, one of the dreams was like, uh, you can see here, uh, a bundle of uh, grains. All were uh, uh, bending towards the main bundle and the middle one was Joseph. It was the interpretation of uh, uh, Joseph's dream to his brothers and Joseph's brothers were very angry. You can see. And uh, let me tell you, the first crisis, the first problem for Joseph started home itself. You can see he was rejected by his own brothers. That's what Bible says. You can see that seven four hated him because he was most loved by his father and also not only that he used to interpret his dreams. Whatever comes to his mind he used to tell to his uh, dear ones, dear brothers and parents too. In 37 4 they hated him and could not able to speak peacefully with him. All their hearts were disturbed. And not only that, so that is on five you can see, they hate even more. 37, 8, they hated even more. And 37, 11 says like, and his brothers were very jealous of him. This poor fellow, 17 years old guy, Joseph, what was his response during the time? He could have compromised along with his brothers. He could he used to bring all the information of what all they are speaking about uh, themselves, especially brothers, to the father. And they hated him, they hated him, they hated him even more and they are jealous of him. Rejected by his own brothers. But it is an opportunity for him to not to compromise. But stick, in, stick on to his standards, that's all. Never compromised with them. He wanted to be very special to his father also. My dear friends, he is the first uh, crisis for Joseph and uh, he was rejected by his own brothers. Not only that, their jealous men made them to throw him into the pit. You can see from that 7 chapter 18 to 22 verses. You are not uh, trying to read all those things. But he was thrown into the pit. Most loved by his father, but jealous from his brothers made him to thrown into the pit and hopeless condition value of darkness David speaks of it in Psalm 23 uh, even though I walk in the valley of shadow of death I fear no evil but Joseph was very uh, earlier before David itself 
He has got such kind of uh, experience. His own brothers rejected him, wanted to kill him initially. But at last, uh, somehow they have got this idea to throw him into the pit. And what was his response during that time? He, has, he was definitely silent, no other go. In Psalm 46, 10 it says, especially God spoke to Moses. When nothing is, nothing coming to our mind, what to do about the difficult situation, difficult crisis, he says like 46.10, be still and know that I am God. Maybe Joseph was thinking about all these things. Maybe his dreams are the only strength for him. My dear friends, today being hated by the brother, not only that, they have thrown him into the pit. Actually, they wanted to kill him. And uh, the third one was, he was sold as a slave. They took him out of the pit. And they have sold him as a slave. Uh, Ishmaelites took him and they have sold him in the world. land of Egypt. Joseph was taken to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh. What was the response? During his life started in uh, Egypt. What was his response? It is also a big crisis. Most loving family, most loving father is no more for him. And all his hopes were lost. He was alone. Just silent moment. What was his response? He was into a new land now. Not only that, his response was he learned the culture of the Egypt. Not only that, he learned the language of Egypt and he learned how to do work perfectly and he became a good steward. Let me read you from 39th chapter of uh, Genesis verse 3 and 5. Genesis 39 chapter 3 to 5. His master, that is Potiphar, his master saw that the Lord was with him with Joseph and that he that the Lord caused all that he did to succeed in his hands. So Joseph found favor in the sight 